One thing I do know about last week uh, in Cleveland is that Belichick did what he frequently does when the team goes to Cleveland, which is stop the bus and get out and see the Jim Brown statue. Is that true? He did that again with you guys? Yeah. Well, well, not only did he uh, talk about Jim Brown and did we stop to see the Jim Brown statue, he talked about the other guys, uh, the other men that carry a lot of social justice along with them throughout those years that a lot of uh, people of color was uh, not looked upon as football players or equals. And so he talked about everybody else that's up in that, uh, that stadium. And uh, it just gave us a history lesson, you know, uh, coach is a big history buff and uh, he probably knows everything or anything about football. And he gave us a history lesson, like, some of those guys who were the first men to play collegiate uh, sports uh, as as African Americans, and then uh, everything that Jim Brown did for football, and everything that Ozzie Newsom did uh, as a player and as a GM, and uh, I was just this how he was talking about those guys and. I was just honored that I got to meet Ozzy and I have an actual relationship with him uh, be, because I was with him in Baltimore. Yeah. And so uh, just just uh, kind of being at that stadium, meant, I think, means a lot for uh, Coach Belichick. And he just want to pass some information down for us and just allow us to appreciate uh, very, very, very like tough beginnings to where we are now. Was that the Belichick you thought uh, of before you came to New England? I mean, oh uh, no, no, no. Uh, I I didn't know him personally at all. I knew him from media, and I knew him from an outsider perspective. Uh, and I really didn't know too many people that actually played for him, honestly. Uh, and then you know I'm I'm with the Ravens, so yeah, we don't like them, <laughs> and we don't we don't like the Patriots. Uh, but getting here and actually getting to know uh, Coach Belichick uh, is a whole 360. Uh, I don't and, – and, you know, you can believe the hype, you cannot believe the hype, but I think he is every bit of a good man that he is, is a good coach. And you can see that he's a great coach from his wins. But uh, every bit of a good man that he is, every win that he has. I think he gives us so much credit to his players, uh, every player that he has. And I think he uh, I think he just loves the game so much that uh, he spends so much time on it. And he spends so much time with, like, just guys around football. But then when it's not about football, when it's about, like, social justice or uh, things of that nature, uh, he's willing to talk and he's also willing to listen. And he's also willing to be a part of some things that he really doesn't have to do because what because what he does is so great. It's fascinating. I mean, plus his look. You you've been around some great ones too. Some really good coaches, I'm sure, throughout your entire journey to this very point, to this very interview here, Matt Judon, and you know it it he just Belichick just has the ability to just drill down right and that you guys are just focused on these four quarters of this week and then once that's done it's the next and then the next and then the next and I know all coaches try to achieve that I'm wondering what you can share about what you have experienced in your couple of years now for that sort of laser lock focus your team's three and three with a third string quarterback who's not playing like it your defense is playing as good as any defense in the NFL right now uh, like what what can you share as the special sauce on what could be a, a a big night for your coach to pass George Hallis on the all-time wins list against the Bears uh, I, th- I think the biggest secret is that he keeps it simple and I think he tells you the keys to winning the game these are the keys to winning this game Look, we have to focus on this. We have to drill on this, and we have to live by this when we play this game. And if we don't, we'll lose. And and every week, if we don't if we don't hit those goals, and if we don't 
do it kind of exactly what he says. You'll go back in the film, and, and it's not him telling you, well, I told you so. It's, okay, we're we going to watch this film, and then and that that's going to tell us how we lost this game. And then when we go back and watch the film, it's exactly how he tell us how we would have won the game or how we would have lost the game. And so uh, with him with him doing that, and his weekend is week out. It's not just one time, or it's not just hey, it doesn't happen by fluke. It happens by so many countless hours of him watching film and breaking down opponents and watching every single player and knowing every single player's strengths and weaknesses and what they like to do. And so with him just being a football buff like that, it it allows us to play fast because he already told us the keys to winning the game. And so uh, we just have to go out there and execute those. Uh, have you spoken to uh, the young man who attempted to give the ball he recovered on special teams to Bill? Um, have, have we addressed this issue, uh, <laughs> your rookie teammate? Yeah, uh, schooler. We we uh we talked to schooler. We kind of we kind of joke about it, but he was just like he was like I ain't know what to do with the ball, and so uh, but uh, you know, coach coach be locked in, man. He he probably at the at, in that moment, coach probably didn't even like. He was probably like, what the heck is this? He didn't even <laughs> probably know it was the ball he recovered, and so he probably had no clue what he was doing. Was there a moment in the film session this week where this has been uh, front and center that you can oh, share with us? No, 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 no. We didn't. No. We didn't. We talked about it on the bus in the locker room, but <laughs> kept it lighthearted. Like uh, Schooler's a good dude, and he was he was very like. He he laughed about it as well. I would do the same thing. Hey, look what I got! You know, look, coach, look what I got. <laughs> man, I, uh, man, coach, coach, B be so locked in. Like, he be so locked into the game and like the, kind of the situation going on. He don't he he don't really be locked in on like the antics. Like you know, that's that's for us players. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.